What's up everyone? It's Frostburn Wolf. So um I was looking for a game that I could play while talking about the Nintendo's Switch. Um cuz uh, cuz the other day I was watching the Nintendo Switch presentation and um basically all I can say about the Switch is that I love it, man. It, it it's gorgeous. Mm. Uh I mean it, it has a simple concept. Uh it's it's I don't know, man. I mean, it just looks awesome, okay? Um, uh, you can take your Skyrim while taking a shit. Man, I, I don't mind. Um, you can play your Mario games or Zelda while taking a shit. Or or, or being... Uh, or, or, or while waiting for a train in commute. Man. I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty awesome. Um, it's, it's everything what the Wii U is, it was trying to be. Uh, when it w when it first uh, came out, like four or five years ago, I, I can't remember. So yeah, okay, I ha hate that jump. Uh, anyway, um, so so while checking out some of the the comments about the switch, um, it, I mean, it, it just it, it just saddens me that, that there's still a lot of people who are who are pretty skeptic about the the switch. And I mean, I don't blame them. When the Wii U came out, uh, a lot of people were disappointed with it. Um, I mean, I wasn't that disappointed. I mean, besides the ugly gamepad it had, um, the Switch was a huge, huge, it's a huge, huge um, uh, improvement. And I like the Joy-Con. I like the Joy-Con controllers, you know. Um, you, you, you can you can you can slide it in, in, into the tablet, or you could um, uh, just play it separately while, while you while you just chill, right? And um, I mean, okay, I hate this guy. I hate this mini boss. See that 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 I think. Uh, anyway, um, the switch the switch. We're talking about the switch. Um. Now, now, part part of the complaints about the Switch is that um, people are saying that uh, so, I mean, some people are saying that uh, oh shit, this is harder. Um, so a lot, uh, some people are saying that the Switch is uh, a gimmick. That Nintendo is all about a gimmick, and the reason why the Wii U failed technically uh, was because people wants to play uh, real games, whatever the fuck that means. Um, oh. I I always thought that Nintendo was uh, trying to do their own thing. Um, they have said m multiple times that um, that they don't want to compete with uh, with PlayStation or the Xbox, and they just want to coexist with them. Um, uh, most likely, they're just saying that to. Because they're because they're they're pretty much losing to PlayStation and uh, Microsoft, so yeah, they just want to coexist. But uh, but still, the the, the 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 Wii U had its problems with the audience, and um, I think I think basically what the problem was that um, uh, the Wii U had two two distinct problems. Uh, okay, shit. Uh, let me focus with this. Um, even though Toadman is like the easiest boss in Mega Man Four or me in Mega Man history, uh, I only I only got one hit. So, he's just gonna jump left and right. As long as you shoot him, he's not gonna attack you. So, um, slide, slide here. So, oh, shit. I I meant to slide the other side. Slide. Almost. Come on. Oh, I don't. Yeah. Ah, uh, miss. No. No. Toadman. This is trickier th than it seems. Because of the okay, he okay, he's dead. He's dead. All right. So uh, the Wii U, the Wii U. All right. So so the Wii U have I think the Wii U have two distinct problems: uh, the lack of first-party games and the absence of third-party games. Uh, if you have PlayStation, uh, you had Uncharted, uh, The Last of Us, and. Um, a couple more exclusives that I couldn't think of. Then Xbox had uh, Gears of War, they had Halo, and then Windows, they have all these um, 
all these indie platforms uh, uh, through through Steam, there, which uh, some people are actually enjoying. But Nintendo, they didn't have those. They didn't have those. They, uh, although they have um, excellent first-party games like uh, Super Mario Wii or Super Mario U, uh, they had Super Mario 3D World, uh, Zelda, uh, Smash Bros. Uh, Donkey Kong Frozen Tropical Freeze or something Mario Kart um, the it, it, it wasn't enough um, the other games have uh, I mean other consoles had uh, Call of Duty uh, Dark Souls and um, th- those those were the kind of games that everyone was playing and and uh, Nintendo's exclusives weren't enough to 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 haul in though all those um although all, all, all wasn't enough to haul in the audience even though they they took a they took a dare with bayonetta uh, bayonetta 2 i think yeah so still now i think fuck you fuck you now um uh ah uh, come on okay good um, now the the Switch, they, they have uh, Nintendo announced that they have all these uh, partners in 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 developing Switch, and the outcome uh, actually remains to be seen. Uh, Square Enix already announced one of their games. And I forgot what it's called. Um, Fantasy something, I think. I don't know. Uh, it looks weird. Uh, it kind of looks. It kind of looks shit. Uh, it's 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 like I mean the aesthetics look nice in a way, uh, kind of reminiscent to uh, to to Golden Sun for some reason I don't know why, but um uh, oh energy tank we're gonna need that so um ah uh, shoot okay um so the only way I can s- how I how I can see Switch is succeeding is uh, if they support more third-party games uh, like like maybe Dark Souls 3 oh I, I, maybe that's asking too much but um, but uh, if if the switch have third-party games uh, is that enough to to draw in the audience um, I don't think so I mean come on come on fuck you Holy shit, this is tricky. Okay, um, uh, dag damn it! Ah, okay. There's one more. Ah, I knew it. Okay, I shouldn't run way too far. Okay, oh, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. You die. Now, um, uh, I don't think the Switch can still succeed, uh, just because they have third-party games. Even though if they have excellent uh, third-party games, I mean they have uh, Super Mario Odyssey, which. From the trailer, it looks pretty sweet. And then, um, uh, they will need, I think, they will need uh, a lot more exclusives. I mean, a lot more daring exclusives that actually push the limits. I mean, we have already seen uh, what the Switch can do. Uh, they have Skyrim, even though that's like last gen. I mean, the mere fact that it can run Skyrim means that uh, we can actually expect some uh, a little bit of hardcore games with it. Um, and then, um, yeah, that was tricky. What up? Okay, so um, holy shit, I lost my train of thought. Dang it! Oh yeah, um. Uh, I mean, uh, just because uh, I mean, just because Mario, I, I mean, just because Nintendo has opened up uh, to third parties doesn't mean that uh, they're go- they're going to fare better uh, this time around. I mean, I mean, I- I'm not sure of the Xbox exclusives, but Halo is a huge uh, draw in. But then at uh, PlayStation, they have, um, they have, they have the, the upcoming, 
I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Bloodborne is going to be a um, Bloodborne 2 is going to be an exclusive S similar to the oh shit similar to the first Bloodborne but uh but just because the switch uh, just because the switch has is, is now is now supporting third party games I mean uh, it, it's still gonna be a, a, a huge struggle for them I mean Nintendo's gonna need to draw to make a lot of really awesome games. Um, I mean, really, really awesome games to 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 make us seriously consider if if, if we want to play uh, just more games or do we want to play hardcore games? I mean, still, it's 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 still fuck you, Skullman, uh, fudge. Almost had them. So anyway, I'm not sure if I had if, if I made sense with all the shit I've just said. Um, I mean, in my head, in my head, they were all they were clear. It was coherent. But for some reason, while while voicing it out, while playing this, while playing a game, basically, it's make fuck. It's making it a little bit more difficult to. Oh my god, the shit! Oh, I am. Um, th this is getting more intense. Uh, anyway, uh, fuck. Anyway, like I said, I hope I made some sort of sense, right? Uh, basically, I like the switch. I like the Joy Cons. I like the the option to to play my Mario or Zelda while taking a shit. Or while, or while waiting, or, or basically while waiting for the doctor, right, to in 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 a in a long queue. Um, but those those per, those peripherals, man, they're, they're just expensive. But still, um, will I get a will, will I get a switch? Probably. I mean, I still don't have a PS4, so PS4 is definitely gonna come out first. And then um nope yes okay then um then we'll see maybe maybe next year maybe next year um if the switch have more games uh i mean as of now there's like only three games that are worth it to get a switch which is uh mario kart 8 if you haven't played the first uh, Original Deluxe. I mean, if you haven't played the first Mario Kart, then the Deluxe version. Then there's uh, Odyssey and um, Zelda. I don't know. Maybe next year when more games are announced. So yeah, I, I made sense instead of this techno babble shit. Anyway, uh, next episode of Mega Man 4 Random Blah Blah Blah. Da. Nintendo Switch.